Ten. Gotcha. All right, motherfucking the Big Ten. <laughs> the diamond cutter. It's a pussy upside down. What is going on, everybody out there? It's your boy here, Merkzilla, back with episode 10, count it, 10 of your weekly fortune. We made it. We are in the double digits. I had to think about how to count it out because, you know, I can't really count past 10. Um, but here we are, you know. So, y'all know the drill. Let's do the deal and get to cracking. Your fortune for week 10 is... A friend's success will benefit you. Mm, I'm kind of torn on this one. I do believe in the notion that a rising tide raises all ships. Like, I get that. I also think it's good to help your friends out and lift them up when you can. But at the same time, I feel like that's kind of a, a little bit of a nepotism kind of thing. It could be, you know, could be seen that way. Um, and I'm more of like a meritocracy kind of person. You know, I think you should you should be raised up by your own volition and your own skills and effort and not just ride the coattails of someone else. But I can see how this might not necessarily be that light. Maybe that's not maybe what they're going for. But I could, you know, that's kind of where my mind goes. I'm like, hey, you know, like, you know, share the wealth. I think that's positive. You know, if you if you come up and you want to help your friends out, that's awesome. You know, that's good. I love that part. But it, there's a fine line. Like I said, there's that fine line where it's like, don't want to put certain people in certain positions if they ain't the right ones. You know what I'm saying? So like, say your success is, is business oriented and you have your own business, you might not want to hire your friend who ain't right for the job, but needs a job, you know what I mean? Or or for that specific job opening that you have maybe in your business, right? But that doesn't mean you shouldn't give them a job. I'm saying you might have to cut out something else for them and kind of work them in or acclimate them or or catch them up to speed so that they can be a good fit. And then just on the other side, like the no normal face value, I think it's good to give back when you get some success. I think that also kind of breeds a culture if you, within your family and your friendship circle circle you know if if <clears throat> you show that hey like you know we when we come up we help everybody else come up i could breed kind of uh culture that you want you know what i'm saying like we all help each other out when we got the good times we there with the good times when we there with the bad times we there with the bad times you know we don't falter we don't fret so with that being said on this one i'm going to go ahead and give it a six and a half but y'all know what time it is <laughs> it's time for the embed scale your fortune for week 10 in the embed scale is a friend's success will benefit you in bed it's like a romantic friend or are you like i don't know man this one's uh this one's a little tough i'm getting all kinds of vibes here i mean are you getting invited to the orgy what's going on you know or is this like one of them you know things back in the day where you know one of your homies got too much getting too much pussy or for your ladies one of the one of their homegirls she just there's too much dick to go there's just too much dick for her to take all i want and, and hey share the success baby i'll be the duff for y'all don't know that's the designated ugly fat friend okay that just holla or could this be like a FWB, a la friends with benefit kind of thing in the bedroom. And, you know, their success is your success. So, um, you know, maybe y'all both are busting at the same time. Living the dream. I mean, hell, thinking about this kind of almost makes me think of like, what, like you getting a trophy? Like, what, you, you just that good, huh? Yeah, fucking that thunder symbol going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, motherfucker just got a medal in the decathlon, you know what I'm saying? Emphasis on the the dick. Well, let's get down to business. <clears throat> let's go ahead and give this one a rating. And I don't know if this is going to surprise you guys or not, but um, I'm going to give it a seven. But what do you guys think? Can I rate these too high or too low? Why don't you let me know in the comments down below? That's another one in the books, baby. Week 10. All right, we made it that far. Double digits. Let's give everybody. I can't believe we made it this far, everybody. But hey, we'll keep on keeping on while we keep it on. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Do all that for me, please. Or heart, whatever, whatever uh, social media you on. I mean, do all those things, all right? Look, we need to spread this. I know this, uh, I didn't really like this fortune too much, per se. But however, you know, that doesn't that doesn't affect whether I think it's a good fortune or not. Whether I like it or not, okay? I don't, I just try to take that bias. It's, 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 by eight, by eight. Biasis, Isis, is out, okay? Biases. Yeah, I know. I know how to say it. I was just fucking around. Thanks, guys. All right? Smash the like button, the heart button, whatever the fuck it is, whatever whatever y'all on, okay? Smash that, okay, for me. And then, good, get you to ring the bell, all right, so you don't miss any episodes, or subscribe, or follow, do all those things. And lastly, and not leastly, give this video a share. I touched you inappropriately today, or appropriately. And as always, peace! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah.